I've got a lot of questions, hints, ideas, thoughts and many more things on how to use a ferro rod. I have also seen quite a lot of people doing it wrong or at least struggle with it to get a fire lit. But the truth about a ferro rod is, if used properly, it's a safe way to start a fire in any condition. And as always, there is just one little trick. Knowledge. Know your environment, know your gear, know how to use it, train with it and you will get the job done when your life depends on it. So let's jump right into it. There are a lot of different types of ferro rods on the market and most of them differ by the mix of the magnesium and other ingredients which result in a hard ferro rod that throws nice sparks and lasts longer than a soft ferro rod that throws huge sparks and loads of it but will not hold up for a longer period of time. As I have experienced, the light my fire from Sweden are the best, at least for me. When it comes to striking the rod, here is where most of the people struggle or even fail. This technique needs to be learned and trained well. It is so simple. Take the scraper, a sharp rock, the spine of your knife or any edge with at least a 90 degree spine to scrape along the ferro rod and removing material of it. When doing this fast, you can throw immense sparks. A ferro rod is a spark generator and not an instant flame. But if done correct, it is as good as a lighter. All you have to know is that you need very fine tinder that is dry so that it will catch the spark. This tinder could be birch bark, dry grass, resin mixed with flower seeds, flower heads or even wood when you know how to feather it up with your knife. Fine enough to get it lit by a spark and a lot of other things that are a great source for a tinder bundle. Once you have collected a nice amount of your tinder it's best to fluff it up, bundle it and lay it on any flat surface you can find. It should be off the ground because moisture could be sucked up by the tinder. A piece of bark will do the trick just fine. Now for the fun part, lighting it up. Get the ferro rod as close to the tinder as possible. Place the scraping device with the sharp edge at an angle on the ferro rod and pull back the ferro rod. Do not scrape into the tinder as this may result in destroying your hardly collected tinder. So hold the scraper steady and pull back the ferro rod. This will give you a concentrated amount of sparks and always on the same spot, right in the tinder. If the tinder is dry enough and prepared correct you have immediate flame. Once trained with different tinders in different weather conditions you will have a fire source that works every time, even when the ferro rod gets wet or is dumped into water. Thanks for watching. Mike out.